Welcome, beloved. It's always an honor and it's always exciting for me to actually be here to have this chat with you and just to make sure that we touch, you know, a few points in our lives where we can change, where we can transform, where we can grow and where we can become better. I believe that we don't want to be in the same position. We are not Jesus, that we are going to be the same yesterday, today and forever. Actually, God wants us to change. And the only reason as to why the Bahati show is here is to actually make sure that we move that journey together. We reconcile between where you are right now and where you really want to be and make sure that we connect the dots, we create the clarity, we create the strategy, we pray about it and we share real conversations about it. That is why we are here. So invite a friend, okay, send this message to someone if it works for you and uh, make sure that you actually do the things that we are talking about and if you need to send any questions questions please on the number on your screen make sure that you send them through for those of you that have been wanting to sign up for mentorship you've been sending so many questions sometimes you send phrases mentor me I usually tell you that send mentor me whatsapp mentor me to the number on your screen because when you say what uh, mentor me then I'll send you all the details the packages that we have the number one is accelerated mentorship accelerated mentorship is for people who want to be coaches world changers people who want to be writers people who want to be leaders, people who want to make a difference in the world, okay? So if you want to make a difference in the world, accelerated mentorship is where you belong. About the dream club, the dream club is a people that want to reconcile, they want to pursue their dreams, they have dreams, they have vision boards, but they want to know how do I connect where I am to where I want to go. Now that is a membership, okay? And a membership that is uh, still at a very, uh, at a low price, so make sure that if you want personal growth, you want to uh, scale your leadership, you want to be better in your home, you want to be better, whatever it is, we make sure that we draw the roadmap to where you want to go so that you know the links to be able to get there. So now those are the two packages. Accelerated mentorship for those that want you to be public speakers, motivational speakers, coaches, you want to earn Okay, the reason as to our accelerated mentorship is a bit highly priced is because we are dealing with people that want to create businesses out of public speaking, out of coaching people. The people that have gone through accelerated mentorship have created uh, have created companies. They have uh, they are being paid as speakers. They are being paid as brand influencers. They are being paid as facilitators. While if you just want personal growth, something for you, you're not growing to influence others, but you're growing so that you will be better and be the best version of yourself that is where dream club comes in and that is where you can be able to uh, now all these are under hold my hand uh, for those of you that have known hold my hand for the longest time I wanted to get that out of the way because you've been asking so many questions the number on your screen the moment you send mentor me we, that is accelerated mentorship the moment you send dream club then we send you the information for dream club and then you're able to join the communities and grow together with other people the books are back in stock we have uh, we have um, tears on my pillow we have deliberately selfish and then we have the trailblazers journal make sure that you actually get yourself one of those from media plaza third floor. All right, so let's go to today's um, today's sharing. Today's sharing is really from a question that someone asked me, and this was someone that um, really wanted, was figuring out, uh, should I join the mentorship? Should I join the dream club? And they were asking a question, and I felt that we could all benefit from this question. And their question was uh, that, how do you build a big business? How do you build a big business? I believe that so many, so many of us have dreams. We are in employment, but we are dreaming of starting our own businesses, starting our own side hustles. And then no one starts a side hustle thinking that it's going to stay a side hustle forever. The reason as to why we start, we start side hustles is because we feel that there's something else that we've been doing. I've been getting money from it. But again, we have some spare time. We can be able to start a side hustle and then grow it so that in time it can grow so that we can actually transition from employment to being fully in our businesses. I believe that is the intention of every person that is start, starting a side hustle. But again, we always have a vision. Just like a mother gives birth to a child, you never think that a child is going to stay small for the rest of their lives, stay in pampas, stay, you know, without speaking. You always envision a child that grows from level to level. And that is where we want businesses to go, to grow from level to level. We have seen big businesses and they didn't 
didn't start as big. They started as an idea. They started as an idea in someone's mind. And that person went ahead to do certain things in order to actually have the big business that they have right now, the formidable businesses that we all admire right now. And you're like, wow, how did that happen? Wow, how did that even, you know, come into play? And I'll just give, give a, a simple example. I know there's so many businesses out there but I mean, I mean, I'm in, I'm, I'm in broadcasting, and when you talk about Spirit FM being here for the past 20 years, we celebrated 20 years. Actually, it's more than 22 years right now. That means it began somewhere. When we talk about Spirit TV, it began somewhere. When you talk about Bahati as Bahati, because in this age and era, businesses are not just entities, but businesses can be personal brands. Now, when you talk about all the businesses that I have created created the kind of brand that I have created. It has been here for the past more than 18 years, actually going into two decades. And that means I started somewhere mumbling, juggling, trying out things. I wasn't who I am today. I was figuring out things. But there are certain things, and that is why I want to share this today. I really felt it so strong on my heart, that there are certain things I put in place. There are certain things that I did. There are certain things that happened for me to be who I am today today and for any business that you admire today for it to be where it is today there are so many things that actually happened and number one i will take you back to myself everything that we're going to talk about i'll take you back to myself okay so many times i would take time to think okay i would take time to think because remember ideas come to our minds and our minds how do ideas come they come through thoughts okay now i am the kind who would not uh, speak without thinking. I would, even if I was going to talk about a business, even even when I actually got the the dream of starting up a, pra a, a private practice, I first thought about it. I knew that no one had had done it back in in those years. I, I had not seen anyone that had a pri private practice as a, a, as a counselor, as a therapist. I actually, I mean, people that had private pra pri private practices were lawyers, you know, and law firms. So I was like, you know what, I want to start a private practice and so I thought about it I envisioned it and I didn't just speak about it I thought about it it came to me I prayed about it before I could even speak it out to anyone because I remember the first person I actually told this was uh, was was Tim and uh, for most of you know my story that I went to enroll back into campus after years of you know after years of going off course and getting into business and become a muyiribi you know some where uh, actually not even in town but in the village deep down in the village so I get back to I, I come back I get the zeal to come back to school and I'm like you know what if I do not flourish my siblings will never flourish if I don't thrive my siblings will never thrive so I need to go back to school so I enroll and instead of doing finance something that we had agreed upon I went ahead and did counseling and guidance because that is what I felt on my heart now after that I discuss with him and tell him that you know what I know that yes you wanted a finance but again I wanted counseling and guidance because that is what I feel on my heart so you realize that now I have started a journey of internalizing thinking and being able to speak not just um and I was very concise, I was very clear, I, was, I would get to the point that this is what I envision and this is what I want to do. I want to speak into people's lives. I want to, and I remember, he didn't even ask me, but have you ever seen anyone who is doing that? He didn't even discourage me. He told me, if that is what you feel on your heart, please go ahead and do it. You have my full support. The next person I actually told it was both our mentor, our, men, our, our, our mentor, and that was the late Dan Peters. I told him that, you know what, I want to start a, a private practice. And I was like, you know what? you have my blessing I, I I mean what, what how can I help you let's start with formulating a name and all of a sudden because I was very concise I was very clear I was straight to the point he came up with a name while he was on his flight back and he told me can, can you use life fix for th so for those of you that remember life fix that was a name that I started with and that was a name that I, we actually came up with my uh, my, uh, my mentor the late Dan Peters uh, together with Tim we sat down came up with 
did something and started it. But remember, I had to communicate from a place of clarity what exactly I wanted. Some of us never go back into our thoughts. Every answer that you're seeking for is actually inside of you. Some of us are looking for everywhere else. We are looking at who is doing what. We are scrolling social media. We are seeking all the answers and looking for all the answers from out there. But I will tell you that they are not out there. Just imagine if I was there and maybe I'd seen someone do it. I'd seen someone be a coach, be someone be a counselor, someone be, maybe I would have said, oh, I have seen someone and so I'm trying to copy someone. Like there was no one. Uh, there was no one. I didn't see anyone. All I actually something th th this is this is a seed that had been in me and i remember sharing with some of us that while i was in secondary school at some point a friend of mine had covers book covers and so those book covers had uh creflo dollar they had kenneth copland they had i think um uh, is it john hug someone but um people who were writing articles about um about christ about real life and so i was intrigued i was like this information exists. Just imagine someone has wrapped their their book, and I'm busy asking. Please give me a cover. Up, uh, 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 give me. Um, it was uh, a magazine cover. And remember, in my home, I had never watched TV. I have, we didn't even own a TV. Uh, I mean, we barely could eat, so we couldn't even have a TV. I had never seen a magazine in my life. That was the first time in secondary, the senior three, to see a magazine book cover, and I'm seeing these things. And in my heart, I remember telling myself so uh, this is to tell you that it's possible that you're watching this program and you're young and you're thinking ah maybe this is for or it's not the seeds that are planted into our lives and the thoughts that come and ideas that come earlier on in life they make a huge they make a huge when you ask any person that has built a big business that has built a big empire they will tell you that the seed was in there from when they were young so I had this so even when I didn't have vivid examples around Uganda around Kampala because I mean I was just coming from to Kampala from from deep in the village from Busana Road in Kayunga I I mean I I, I was like a goat that has come into town that is seeing lights and stuff like that but here I am with my armed with my dreams that you know what I want to be a life changer I even I even didn't know how, what it was called I, I want to speak into people's lives all I knew is I have something to say and um and I think this came from because I saw my mother speaking into people's lives, preaching. And so I was like, I also have something to say. Now I am here with my dream, but I'm concise, I'm clear, and I'm straight to the point about the things that I want to do. One of the phrases I wrote here said that the difference between getting something done and mumbling about getting something done is very, very huge. Now, for so many of us, remember we are answering a question. How do you build a big business? Okay. If you have a dream and the dream is inside of you, if you keep mumbling about doing something and you're actually not doing it, that means you're not anywhere close to starting to even build anything because you must start somewhere. I remember when I started, I say this all the time, I didn't have an office. I didn't. And I had a dream. All I had was they gave me, I got airtime and I got airtime. How many minutes? Two minutes times three, that is six minutes a day on radio. But because I had a dream, I was like, you know what? I'm going to, sh to, to, to record short clips, okay? Short audio clips. And they're going to play on radio. That is in the morning, in the afternoon, and in the night. And those are six minutes. If it were another person, because some of us want to start up. And I usually say that the only thing that starts up going down is a grief. Otherwise, everything else, business, I, I mean, the good life that you wish for, the dream life that you wish for, starts down going up. We build brick by brick. So now, it's possible I would have said, ah, but six minutes, what are six minutes going to do? Who is going to listen to me? But let me tell you, every after the two minutes I recorded, I would get some calls because I included my number on there. Let me tell you, I was sharp, sharp, very early in life, <laughs> very sharp, sharp, because I don't, I don't think people saw where this was going. I think most people were as surprised as I was, but I was willing to do the work. Let me tell you, I would not have transport, but I would foot, I would come to town just to record six minutes. And sometimes after that, the producer would tell me, but did you know that you can record um, uh, clips for the whole week? 
So now I would have to go back into research. I would research, okay, what am I going to talk about? I don't know where these things came from. I didn't have anyone to sit me down to tell me, write this, write this. Did I have encouragers? Yes. Did I have people who would tell me, you know, keep going? Yes. But I didn't have anyone to sit me down to tell me, just like I sit down with the people in the mentorship, and I tell them that, you know what, let's find your niche, okay? Now, this is your niche, and the, because this is what you're passionate about. So now, let's write 50 problems of, of in, in this niche so that because anyone that wants to build a business or wants to build a personal brand you must be able to give solutions to people and i'm going to come to that in in a minute so i didn't have anyone to sit me down but guess what i would i mean because when you give me airtime and um and this is the part I skipped. During my senior six vacation, I had worked on, on, on radio uh, uh, for some time. So I worked on radio and um, I worked, I began on Spirit FM like long time ago. I think I was 19 years old. So I would, I would have, it was called Africa Anointed. Africa Anointed was African music. But remember, in between, you would have to give a bit of motivation, you know, when you're a presenter. Bit of, but remember, I'm in my senior six vacation. I even don't know what I want to do. I'm just figuring myself, like, can you do this? I'm like, yes, I can actually do it. Actually, someone phoned me emceeing a wedding and they were like, I didn't know you can do this. Come, I, I, let, let me give you some time on radio. So now I knew that motivation, I needed to speak about something that would touch people, that would help people. So now here I am with my six minutes and I have to figure out what helps people. So you realize that I did the work. I did not give the excuses of I don't have transport um, I, I don't know how I'm going to make it there. You know, maybe I'll record the six minutes whenever I can get time. Do you know there are people who are like that? Like all we want is pity. We are not willing to put in the work or even go an extra mile. I would foot to record six minutes. I would, I would do anything to record six minutes. And I remember from six minutes because God says that when, I, when he trusts you with the small and you are trustworthy, that you will be trusted with something big. Because I went from six minutes to an hour and the hour, guess what time it was? At 11 p.m. in the night. I'm a young girl staying in Banda in a, in a certain Kazigo that was barely six by, uh, 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 with a bed six by, by, by three. And I was here armed with a dream of changing lives. I don't know where I got the audacity. I don't know where because any girl would have given up. Any girl would have thought that, you know what, at 11 p.m. I even don't have transport. I, don't, I am not safe. I am not going to do it. Every single week, it was once a week, I would come to Kampala, to, to come to Namirimbe to make sure that I do that one hour. So the difference between so many people that don't make it and those that, not, that, that, that make it is some people are willing to mumble about their dreams, talk about their dreams, complain about their dreams, compromise on their dreams. But there are those few, and I want you to be among us, the few that build bigger businesses that are willing to do something about it, that are willing to research, that are willing to do. By the time I started social media, actually most people were telling me, but you, you're, you're showing off, but you know, you know people are going to... Uh, they're they going, you're even putting your number on social media. People are going to, you know, to come after you. People are going to do this and this. I didn't know what I was doing, but I guess it was the Holy Spirit developing my ideas, directing my ideas and distributing me out there. Well knowing that a time is going to come 20 years, 18 years after, and I will be this person that travels the nations, that impacts people's lives, that coaches people, that mentors people, that, you know, helps people to build their businesses I didn't know this is who I would be but it started with me being very clear and me being willing to work on my dream and not on work on my business and not just sit and fold hands as a girl I would have thought that you know what uh, all I want is a man that comes from Uyenga that comes from Kololo sweep me over my feet and then all of a sudden I will be head over heels in love and then they would take me to a mansion somewhere and then uh, we will leave happily ever after <laughs> sometimes I love I laugh at those things because that does not exist anywhere that does not exist anywhere even any man if I, if you're a lady and you're watching any man that is going to marry you wants value they are looking for value okay and it's not just this thing of oh what do you bring to the table what do you bring to the table real value and real value comes from growth real value comes you from you having ideas real value comes from you doing something and not just 
just sitting on yourself and folding your arms and waiting for everything to fall on your lap. No one wants a dependent and no one wants a valueless person. Everyone wants someone that actually have value. So many people attempt her and so I've seen this so many people attempting to convince me about um, about who they want and then they forget to work on that. That's the other thing. Remember, I told you, I didn't mumble about my dreams. I did something. So if you find people who are willing to convince you, have you found dreamers, but mere dreamers without doing? Because dreams without actions, nothing. Just like faith without actions, nothing. You can have all the faith that you want. But if there's no action to it, for example, that if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, that you can move a mountain. But remember, to move a mountain, you must do something. You must speak to the mountain. So if you have the faith inside of you and you're thinking that the mountain is going to peep into your heart and see the faith and then it is going to tremble and move, that's not going to happen. Faith without actions is dead. Okay? So stop convincing people, oh, of your big dreams and then you speak about this, you move with a lot of papers and then you have written so many things and then you have dreamt so many things. If you are dreaming, dreaming, dreaming and thinking and thinking and thinking and you're convincing people about your big dreams and you're speaking, you're even lying about the big dreams and the things that you, oh, you know, I, I started this company and now it's doing this and this and doing this. Go back to the starting point and do something. Don't forget the deeds. Do something. And in doing, it's possible you, you could be slow, but that is okay, okay? You don't need to be as fast as someone. Pace yourself. Create your own pace. Grow at your own pace. You don't need to create, uh, if you're creating a big business, you don't need to to grow without a strategy, to grow without a plan, and all of a sudden, oh, I am growing. No, it's not in the hype. It's in the deeds, okay? It's in the deeds. Don't convince anyone of how many companies you have started, of how many businesses you have opened. If there's nothing to show for it, you have nothing. You have no business. We just don't talk about business. We do something about business. We have tangible things to show about business, okay? We don't just talk about it to feel good, to show off or to convince people how we have done certain things, okay? So when someone attempts to convince you so much, actually, we're not supposed to convince anyone. People are supposed to see what we are doing and they're supposed to say, wow, okay? We saw her when she was starting, but look where she has gotten. And she's still, she's not satisfied. She has not arrived. She's still going. You don't need to convince anyone. You don't need to talk about your business uh, uh, as in to tell people, oh, you know, now I started this in, in terms of convincing. No, let them see what you are doing. Let them see what you are doing. Okay, so... Uh, just like the song, uh, this reminds me of the song, See What the Lord Has Done. Uh, we, 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 we actually don't um, tell people, we don't, convince, uh, we don't convince people that, oh, you know, he has done so much. No, we are saying, see what he has done. That means there is action to it. There is something tangible that people can look at, that there is a change, a shift from where you are to where you are. And people can tell and say, look and see what the Lord has done. That means it's vivid, it's tangible, and there's a difference. And that's what we want to do, okay? And so uh, when you talk about creating a big uh, business in your life, I want you to know that the first thing that you must have is a big dream, a big dream, okay? You don't, uh, uh, we don't build big businesses from small dreams. We don't build uh, big businesses from failed dreams. We don't, no, 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 no. We, big, we build big businesses from big dreams, the audacious dreams, the dreams that uh, Habakkuk says, write it on the tablet and when people see it, that they will run away, as in they will be in disbelief. They'll be like, what kind of audacity does this person have to write this kind, to write down on, 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 on the board to say that, you know what, they're going to, to create a, a multi-millionaire, uh, they're going to create a big Big empires they're going to create as in what kind of audacity does this person have and sometimes we have so many we have big dreams that sometimes when you speak those big dreams to small minds definitely they are going to convince you otherwise because they have all 
all the examples of things that did not work out. So a dream comes through a multitude of businesses. A dream comes through a multitude of businesses. That means while you're looking at different things, while you're, you're thinking about different things, while you're reading about different things, while you as in, as you are busy, as you, 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 you are, um, what, 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 what would, exposing yourself, dreams come, okay? When you don't expose yourself, dreams are not going to find you in your bed, okay? Because sometimes the dreams that are going to come are going to be based on other businesses and you look at a business and you look at customers and you look at people's shops and you look, so in the multitude of businesses, dreams are coming. That's in the Bible. Go look for it, okay? So, I mean, the Bible talks about uh, businesses a lot because there's somewhere the Bible talks about that a skillful man and his businesses shall stand before kings, okay? That means a man that is cool, skillful at their business. That means that w God concurs that we can build big businesses. And big businesses, now we have two things. We have to have a big dream, okay? And then we have to have mastery. A skillful, someone that is skillful at that particular business. That means by the time you become skillful we acquire skills we are not born with skills so when you acquire the skills whether you've gone um, uh, you've gone for a course for uh, uh, to do camera whether you've gone to do graphics whether you've gone to do uh, people are coming for uh, to accelerated mentorship to learn business growth business development ideation and business development and business growth and you know someone is getting skills some of them have just signed up for digital marketing and they're like how do I build a personal brand and how do I market my goods in this age and era? Because it's not just about holding megaphones. It's not just sitting in the arcade and waiting for customers to come. They're not going to come. Because in that same arcade, there are thousands of other shops that are dealing in the same merchandise, in the same accessories, in the same phones, in the same gadgets. And so you must have eyeballs, you must have visibility that is beyond that arcade in order for you to have a sustainable and growing business. So that means you need to be able to use social media how do you use social media because that is a skill so you realize that if the bible says that a man that is skillful at his business shall stand before the kings you will stand people because kings are people that have money kings people are people that have honor king as in you will stand before the kings Okay, so now we have a big dream, a big dream, an audacious dream that you know what, I'm going to build this business. And even when you're going to start small, but for you, you have a bigger vision. That is why you wake up every day. That is why you reinvest. That is why you ask for knowledge. That is why you sign up for courses. That is why you go for consultation. Why? Because it is a big dream. And it doesn't mean that it's going to, to be big immediately. But what you see, the bigger picture that you see, the 10 years from from now the five years from now you're like you know what it's possible I'm starting with 500,000 it's possible that I'm starting with a hundred thousand but I am envisioning my vision is bigger my vision is expansion my vision is franchising my vision is you know having this as an as an East African Empire as an African Empire my vision is bigger than just where I am at the start okay so a skillful man in their business or a man that is very skillful in their business shall stand before the kings. So a dream is something that we have at a higher level of our imagination. Because sometimes you will ask yourself, what is a dream? When I was dreaming, the kind of life that I wanted to live, the kind of business that I wanted to have, I wanted a business that was flexible in hours, that was not tying me down, because I am not the kind who can be tied down, that you tell me that, you know what, sit, uh, sit in the office uh, Monday to this or in the morning to evening. I knew myself, okay? So I knew I was not the kind who would be tied down or I didn't want to be tied down. I knew that very early in life. And I don't know if some of you know the things that you don't want or the things that that kind of life that you would want to live because for me I live for experience I want my I want to experience certain things and I was very clear about those even when I was a nobody I tell you that sometimes I dreamt in places where I had no business dreaming like how do I dream of having 
things of of impacting lives of 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 a huge business how do i dream about that but coming from a poor background because i would have said the easiest thing for me was get a job uh, do that get the the the, the kamani and self sustain and be there for the rest of your life but i had bigger dreams and i will tell you that i didn't have any base baseline for the dreams because i would have said or oh, maybe because i saw my family because i saw my father because i saw my uncles i didn't see anyone i have never seen anyone and i will say it without fear i have never seen anyone in my family that i say that you know what i am admiring so and so and i want to be like so and so that has never existed never existed okay so sometimes the dreams that come to us it's not because we have seen it's not because we have tested but sometimes those dreams are inside of us because god in the secret places before our bodies were formed together he knew us and he predestined a good ending and if he predestined a good ending the bible says that he proclaims the end basing on the beginning that according to the seeds of greatness he puts inside of us according to the blueprint of how our parts were woven together according to the the longings and the desires that God has put inside of us the power of imagination that God has put that has gifted you with that you do not have to go anywhere to buy how how big you can imagine or dreaming big no one is going to measure in kilos and tell you ah but since you have small money let me give you a quarter a dream dreams are not bought that means you can dream as big as possible and everything is figure outable everything is figure outable so a dream is something that we have at a higher level in our imagination you imagine yourself somewhere you imagine yourself and sometimes it might not be as clear okay but you know that i'm destined for greatness there's something big about me there's that urge there's that pull there's that imagination that sometimes when you close your eyes sometimes you can even fail to sleep back then i would even fail to sleep but i would imagine you know some of them would be fantasies by the way never joke with fantasies fantasies without action those are bad okay because then you will never amount to anything but the moment you you escape into a fantasy world that is a, an imaginative world where you can think about certain things that you know what now this happens and that happened i will tell you for everything that i have in my life everything that i have in my life has been the creative power of one desire number 2 of imagination number 3 of my words number 4 of prayer and fasting and seeking god it has been the creative power of those things colliding together those things colliding together Now some of us have edited our desires some of us have edited according to how we saw what we saw and where we saw for God's sake where i come from there are houses grass thatched houses both from my mother from my father maybe if i i would have said you know what i come from that but so there's no there's nothing that nothing will ever come out of me nothing could ever come out of me. that is what i should have thought but i was busy dreaming dreams that i had no business dreaming because they are not bought is the power of imagination and i mean i could imagine anything i imagined myself in places i imagined myself doing certain earning certain kind of money having different kind of schedules having a different certain kind of a home having a different kind a certain type of a marriage let me tell you the creative power of desire the creative power of imagination the creative power of prayer the creative power of your words i do not just speak about these things i speak about them because i have lived that life and i have seen firsthand how god can bless you i have seen firsthand how god can expand you i have seen firsthand i usually tell my husband if we, we we were because so many people blow their trumpets out there but if i i were to blow my own trumpet or we, if we were to 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 just talk about what god has done for us i i mean i don't know i i don't know but the thing is the creative power every day and that has never stopped that has never stopped up to now okay i will have a sleepless maybe one hour 
when I start imagining things. And I will and I will tell you right now I know that everything I am so careful about how I imagine because I know that everything I imagine can actually it has power to come to pass. So that means I must instantly eradicate any kind of negative thought. I do not entertain anything negative. Actually, the first line of, of attack for me when it comes to negative thoughts is prayer. I will be, whether I will be holding my kid, taking them to their class, whether I am driving, whether I am I, 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 I'm in my home cleaning, whether whatever it is, when a negative thought drops in my mind, the first thing is to bind, the next thing is to pray about it and against it. Why? Because I know that my mind is so creative, so creative, okay, that everything I desire, God brings to me. Because he says he will fulfill the, our heart's desires. For as long as they are in alignment with his word, they are in alignment. So I have made sure that I align. I do not live for my own. I don't, I don't live, I don't earn because I want all the money to myself. I want to help. I want to mentor. I want to transform lives. So I have aligned my will to his will. So that means everything I desire, he will bring into my bosom. So that means I'm very careful. Thoughts will come, but I will take them out so quickly, the negative ones, and I will entertain the positive ones. I will even smile about them. I will even take a moment about them. So I want you to be able to think about it. A dream business equals to big profits. For those of you that are dreaming of business, big businesses, a big business equals to big profits. Okay, And a minimal number of transactions produces a huge number of profits. That is how I wanted it for me. So I'm giving you my setup of the business. I didn't want to have so many transactions that yield to less profits. Because I have ever been in 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 that kind of uh, in that kind of business where you have to work a lot, whether you where you're contained in one space, where you're contained. I told you I've ever operated a shop where you are contained in one place and where you have to. Someone comes housing and you have to dress the housing for them. They buy and then you have to put it on and then you have to check the earpieces and then you have to check them out. As in, like it's too much work, too many transactions, less profits. I know what the, uh, how that business runs. So now I had to be able to dream and say, you know what, God, something that I really want is to be able to have a minimal number of transactions, but to produce a huge number of profits. And that's exactly. So when I tell you that in the accelerated mentorship, I mentor people that have always, it started by people telling me, I want to be like you. How can I be like you? How can I be? So I realized that I have all these skills that I have mastered along the way, public speaking, personal branding, a spiritual intelligence, and then personal growth, and then leadership, and then, you know, content creation, and being a brand ambassador and being a, a, a brand influencer. So now accelerated mentorship, I give you a whole package of who I am. That means I have, even in, 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 in my line of work, I mean, public speaking events and um, what I am doing right now. And so I can decide and say I am going to have maybe 10 hours of work in a week. I can decide and I will still earn the same kind of money. So you realize that you just decide in your head and say, okay, what kind of life do I want to live? What kind of lifestyle do I want to live? What kind of money do I want to earn? How many transactions do I want? Do I have to want to make so many transactions and earn little or do I want to make few transactions and earn a lot? I am opening your mind, okay? I am giving you the audacity to dream big, to tell you that everything is possible, okay? So if you are an entrepreneur, and um, you work, let me say, let me just give an example because I give an example of 10 hours uh, 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 a week. There are some entrepreneurs who work 16 hours a day, so they don't have to work eight hours for someone else. You were employed and you were working for eight hours a day, but now you get into entrepreneurship and then you're working 16 hours because it's your business and you know you have to be there and then you can't rest from it and then you know how, and, uh, all those things. I'm not saying that it's bad. We all begin somewhere okay so figure out what works 
for you okay you need to have a big dream something that is big and something that is of value let's go to your big dream because again we can't say oh i just want to dream about having so much money so much money so much money that is not a big dream okay let's go back to your to your passions let's go back to your uh, what, what the gifts that you have let's go back to the skills that you have let's go back to the skills that you have if it, there is something that you can be able to solve and something that you can be able to solve for a bigger group of people okay you have a solution okay and then you have a bigger group of people that need that solution a bigger group of people that need that solution. That means that you are actually going to build a bigger dream. Why? Because you already have the passion, you have the skill, and that skill can translate into money because there are so many people that would want that skill and they have to be willing to pay for it. Because then it's possible that you can identify something that uh, it's a problem in the market and you have a solution for that problem and there are people that would want it, but the people are not willing to pay for it. I think we have so many of those. Um, that's, that's the reason as to why when they say that ah, wherever you open a, a, a pharmacy, you are bound to get business because, I mean, you are responding to people's problems and so you're solving people's problems and it's a huge number of people. When someone is sick, they're not going to substitute anything. They would rather not eat but get medicine. So you realize that you have a big, a big dream. You have a skill uh, to attach to that dream that this is the kind of lifestyle that I want to live. This is the kind of, you know, I want to be able to solve this kind of problem there are people that you know that need it and it's a huge number of people and they are willing to pay for it at any cost to make sure that they actually get it that is why you see that you will um there's recent uh, it's, uh, uh, recently we discovered that when you go to some of these uh, um, you know pharmacies around you know villages where we stay you, they will be more actually twice or thrice as expensive as when you go to other pharmacies uh, somewhere so now i decided that you know what uh, some some of them you know you, you you know some of those medicines where children repeatedly use you know coughs flu and what and you're like now we are going to decide and buy this and buy it from here it's only when it's an emergency and we can't do anything that we have to buy it from you know close places and stuff like that so you realize that medicine is medicine people will actually want it People want phones, okay? When we had just gotten into the phone businesses, my friend, my friend, it was booming. It's still booming because phones are still selling. People are upgrading every day. That means that you have a, you, 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 you have a dream, okay, to start this business and you're like, it's going to grow because people are going to buy. And that means it's a huge number of people that actually need it. When you start a saloon, you're like, there is no day women will stop uh, doing saloon. So in accelerated mentorship, we actually don't just talk about uh, those that want to be coaches and public speakers and uh, because that is also a bigger market but we develop business ideas even for saloon people for the people that are selling gadgets and phones people that as as in any kind of business think about it we actually connect the dots so now you have this business idea and you have so many people that are in need of it and they are willing to pay for it i don't know if you've seen women go for makeup and I mean, they're paying a lot of money for it. And they, I mean, you do it for hours and, uh, and, and it's done and you have to pay more. And you, every time you need that first bit, you have to pay more. So people that are operating those businesses, actually, when they acquire the skill and they're like, you know what, I, I dream to be a makeup artist that is going to work on celebrities. There are people that have come to me that I have mentored, that have told me that, you know what, this is what I'm thinking about. I want to go and, and get a skill. And I'm like, you know what, okay, get a skill while you learn how to put that skill into, uh, while we also learn how to put that skill into use. And all of a sudden, now they are working on celebrities and every celebrity is endorsing, every celebrity is sending someone. Before you know it, it takes six months, for some of them, it has taken them six, six months to be able to hit even the targets 
Because some people dream big dreams and they think those dreams are big, not knowing that in six months or a year they will have hit those dreams. Okay? And someone else was telling us in the mentorship recently, I think it was Coach Adele, that was telling us, in two years' time I'm going to be a household name. And I told her that, you know what, actually it's possible that two years, you will not even make it uh, as in uh, two years, that it will be in a year or a year and a half and you'll be a household name. So that means some of us, we, we are dreaming dreams, but we are very careful. We don't want to dream too big. We don't want to exaggerate. You know, we, we, we want to be in the safe zone. Don't be in the safe zone, okay? Make sure that you dream your dream, okay? And make sure that it is actually big and it's something that has value, okay? There is no dream that you'll ever dream about and it actually doesn't have value. When they say that Musa Tasa Kafero started with selling uh, selling eggs, I don't know where I, go, I got that story from, but say he started selling eggs on sites, okay? And it's possible that one day he looked at those uh, th those buildings and he was like, one day I'm going to build a building like this. So you realize it's not just a building, a building like this, so that I can also say I have a building like this. No, that means he had a value that I'm building this building so that people can come and rent in the city center and rent shops from my building so that they can, disp they can do their businesses. So I'm giving them value and there are so many of them that would want to have, to have shops. That means he doesn't have any empty spaces on his building that because people are willing to pay for them and that means it's possible that he has other arcades and other arcades and other arcades why because when one formula works we replicate it and replicate it okay so a big dream that has value and one thing that I want you I want to 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 just inform you is I need you to be able to believe in everything or in how see yourself how God sees you and believe in how he sees you because you are great you are the head and not the tail you will be the lender and not the borrower you will he has all those promises but so many of us we look at ourselves by the labels that we have been given the failures you know it will never amount to anything their businesses can never grow so now we are settling what if we believed everything that God says about us instead of believing in the limitations people are placing upon us because if you want a big business then you have to be able to believe in how big says you are to give you a good ending, okay? And you place away all the limitations that people are placing on you. All these things are the things I did. Because, I mean, other people told, I mean, they said so many things. Oh, but you're not married. But now you're starting this. But we have never seen a person that is not married that, uh, you know, started, uh, uh, that, uh, that has ever done this. And in my heart, there is always a first for everything. If this is what I feel to do, I am going to do it. And I'm not asking for your permission. Actually, I usually make a joke. But indeed, I blocked some people. Some people from my family, some people from, you know, those people who thought that they have a lot of words to decampaign what I was doing. And guess what? After some time, I, I, I unblocked them so that they can, see, they can come and see what the Lord had done. <laughs> I know that it sounds weird, but in that moment, I didn't want anyone that pulls me down, that pulls my zeal, my desire, my imagination. I didn't want anyone that crisscrosses into, in, in, into, into my dreams. If you're not supporting me, then step aside. I am heading somewhere and I'm in a rush. I'm building something. So I don't need you. It's like um, Nehemiah. I think we've talked about Nehemiah before about distractions. When Nehemiah gets to know that, you know what, I am blessed, I'm in this palace, but again, I am burdened because Jerusalem is in ruins, and he decides that, you know what, let me pray for favor. The first thing he prayed for to God was, God, give me favor. And when God gave him favor, he went to the king, and the king asked him, what do you want? And he gave him a long list of the things that he wants, okay, about the timber and all these things, and the king actually gave him the things that he wanted. And so he went to go and build the wall and when he had reached somewhere he had lifted the wall from the ground and he had reached somewhere there comes uh, the Tobias of this world telling him that you know calm down Let, we have something to tell you that you know we, ha we, we, we know that you, you're proclaiming yourself to be a king and you know you're doing this and this and they're telling him all the wrong things and he says that four times they came to him telling him the same thing and four times he responded to them in the same manner but he says I have a project I am doing I am not coming down for any reason 
Do not, if you want to build a big business, do not give in to distractions. Do not give in to people that are labeling you, people that are toxic, people that are pulling you down, people that want you to be at their level. Because then, why should you be the one that dreams big? Why should you be the one that has a big business? Why should you be the one? Why, 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 why? You know? No. They are not willing to do anything. They are willing to sit in their pity party. They are willing to, to not lift a finger to do anything. But for as long as you're putting deeds to your faith, you're putting actions to your faith, go ahead. Let no one stop you. Do not come down. Just like Nehemiah didn't come down. He was like, you know what? I'm not coming down. I have a whole project I am doing. And sometimes if it needs, because at some point they say that he, they were building, holding bricks and holding weapons. Sometimes we must must be able to hold the weapons and hold bricks. So while you are building, you are slaying the dragons. While you are building, you're slaying the distractions. While you are building, you're saying, you know what? No, I'm not stopping the building not to come down and talk about gossip. Because these people were actually talking, telling him about, you know, we were told by so and so and so and so confirmed it. Go into Nehemiah and read it and see how funny it was. So gossip is not just starting now. Gossip started long time ago. You know, so and so say and so and so said and so and so confirmed it and you know we think it is true and if you think it's true go sit and drink a, a cup of coffee on it go and you know make a party ab about it go and get a megaphone and tell the whole village how it is true but I am not leaving my project I am not leaving my project not for anything okay so you are good enough you can make it for as long as you believe, okay? And you have gone through life resisting uh, people and, you know, their lack of appreciation and you are fighting so hard and because they want to to, co to confirm, they want to box you in. So every time it has been fighting for you, it has been, and that means you have something great on the inside of you. Otherwise, if the battles are not coming, if the battles didn't come to me, I would have said, you know what? Maybe I would, not I would not have fought harder. I would not have stuck on the road. I would have not have developed the grit and the grace to keep going. I would not. But when the battles came, I mean, when people wanted to emphasize how I have to be boxed in, how, you know, I can't amount to anything, how I can't be successful, how, you know, this thing is strange in Uganda and no one knows about it. You know, now you're the one that has to create a lot of awareness. People don't know about coaching. People don't know about counseling. People, people don't know. I was like, they don't know about it. They will get to know about it. I don't know where I got the big head from. I don't know where I got the boldness from. But I was like, you know what? If they don't know about it, they will know about it from me and indeed uh, where we left off when I started doing the uh, Spirit FM and uh, that is the night the 11 p.m. that is how I find myself on the TVs on Urban on NTV on NBS being called invited everywhere talking about I find myself in magazines I find and I remember there's a day I was actually in a Sunday school you know Sunday school preachings at church and I was telling them I, I'm, I'm a young girl I have nothing to my name like literally I even have nothing to eat but I am on the pulpit and I'm telling them that you know what guys one day one day you're going to be reading about me in, in magazines what you're going to be reading about me in, in newspapers you're going to be watching me on tv where did i get the audacity i didn't have any relative that had a tv i didn't know how they invite people on tv the last tv i had watched was the black and white the one where you would get that curtain come up at 6 a.m that 6 p.m that had multi colors and it would do two and then all of a sudden they put on you know news and stuff like that in black and white that was the last tv i watched at my uncle's place i told you in my home i didn't have a tv i didn't grow up with a tv okay so that means i didn't have anywhere to you know to get this this audacity from or even to tell people you'll watch me on tv because i didn't know how are people invited to tv how uh, 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 wh what do you even say on tv uh maybe uh, but i just had this mega thing that i am going to be an important person in my life so if you have that inside of you nurture it okay do not let anyone distract you that is how you build a big business okay so I want you to be able to know some of the things that uh, we emphasized, okay? Uh, the value that you are supposed to give because people buy value, okay? The value that you're supposed to give, it should be providing a solution to a bigger problem. Find a big 
problem, okay? Find a big problem. Whenever I have a personal branding a masterclass or a public speaking masterclass or even the mentorship, the reason as to why it has been cohort after cohort after cohort is there's a bigger market of people that want to find themselves, find their purpose, uh, but create the skills and be able to develop the skills and be able to deploy the skills, okay? So find a bigger problem, okay? And a huge uh, group of people that have that problem that you can help solve that problem and those that are willing to pay because some people are in their problems but they are not willing to lift a finger to do anything okay they are not willing to lift a finger to do anything about it so you can never just come to people and you're like ah you know what but you must do it you know if you don't do it you don't need to convince people okay and sometimes the reason as to why people are not buying from you or getting from you is because you're not i mean your social your so social media or content creation is also not good in this age and era every business needs to be on the on social and needs to be on social media and you need to be able to create uh, you know copies to be able to create content and it doesn't mean that you have to be good from the onset uh, you can be bad and so that you can um, you can learn and be better or be good at the end of the day so don't say that oh I am bad so I'm not going to do anything even in your badness make sure that you go ahead and do and create and that is where when you come to the mentorship or when you come for a one-on-one -on -one, for those of you that don't don't want to do the mentorship but you come on on one on one when you draw the roadmap then you get to know what kind of content because some people know oh I have to create content but they don't know what kind of content content about what what do I speak about number one they can't even they, they are camera shy they even uh, now public speaking um, abilities zero and then you're telling them to create content and then they don't know what content to, uh, what content to actually create because content is all a zero down to addressing the problems and providing solutions to the people so that they can see you as the go-to person for what they need so and this applies to a every kind of business whether you're in hair whether you're in cosmetics whether you're in phones whether you're selling TVs whether you're selling uh, whatever it is that you are selling whether you are in restaurant whether it's a hotel business wh whatever it is whether it's a media house whatever business whether it's a consultancy whatever it is okay whatever it is it has to be something that is solving a problem a big problem for a bigger group of people and people who are willing to part with money to pay for that service or to pay you to be able to solve their problems okay so make sure that you are very clear and very articulate about about it and uh, I know that our time keeps going very fast, but life will not give you what you fight for. It will give you what you accept. When you accept mediocre, when you accept little, when you accept less, life will give you exactly that because you accepted it and you settled for it. But b b Because when you say that, oh, I'm fighting for this, when you're fighting for something and you're fighting for something big, when you get something less, you don't settle for that or you don't just accept it. You're like, you know what? I'm still on my way to getting that. Okay? I'm still in trans. I'm still moving. The moment you settle and arrive, then you die okay because then you're not dreaming anymore because you, I mean you're not enlarging your territories uh, big enough so maybe your dream is to help people you have a vision you have a burden for a group of people that you desire to set them free from their bondage and uh, that is a big dream that is what I'm talking about so make sure that you develop that make sure that you consult make sure that you 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 go to a coach make sure that you go to a mentor make sure that you develop your business idea come up with your what are your values what are your core beliefs what are your systems well, how can you be able to avail it to people some of you don't need to open shops you can do it mobile you can do it online okay and you don't have to parent anywhere but you need help in order to be able to create that big business that you envision okay so i've provided Provided the truth and just like the Bible says that the truth will always set you free I don't want you to have big dreams that are not um, that, 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 that do not transform into uh, the person that you really want to be the big dreams of oh I want to have a nicer house no that's not a big dream uh, oh I want to to to, to have um, um, uh, I mean, the tangible things that we are, flashy things, a bigger, ha a bigger house, bigger car, bigger, those are not big dreams. No, they are not big dreams. The bigger dream that we are talking about is a dream for people. 
If you have anything that you want to help someone, set them free, develop them, provide them with solutions, that, you are, that is what we call a big dream and that is what creates a big business because then you'll be able to do a few transactions but make sure that you get bigger monies or a bigger margin of profits but there are people that are willing to part with their money to make sure that they do that. So if you really want to get to know more about this because I have left so much um, out of this and that have not uh, explained but for those of you that need to get into mentorship just write the word mentor me send it to the number on your screen you will get the details and we will talk about and you will have a one-on-one -on -one time with me to develop your business idea to come up with a roadmap so that you can be that person that not only dreams big but also lives big because that is the life god has never called us to live small no he has said that he came to give us life and life in its abundance and so an abundance uh, an abundance that is big okay that is not scarcity that is not lack that is an abundance and I want us I pray over you right now that you will live the life that God planned you will live you will not live less than that you will not accept less than that and you will not settle for less than that love you bye bye